Well, hi everyone, and welcome back. And as promised, we've got uh, Telly came back. Telly used to be uh, Leatherface, a, a wrestler guy. I think uh, maybe in the earlier one, you said like, how long ago you started wrestling? I, uh, in the opening, alluded to we had a great commercial back. There was three of you guys here uh, wrestling around and doing all this stuff, and uh, it was great because you were all in your. Um, what do they call it when you put on the? the uh, I guess your leathers for you, you, that's what you have. But you know when wrestlers get all dressed up in their, I don't want to call them costumes, you might, you know, tear my arm off or something. Um, costumes from okay. people, industry people, it's usually called a gimmick or your get okay. up or whatever you want. Your gimmick, so. your goose, gizmo or whatever <laughs> gizmo, it is? Yeah. your get up, your whatever you want. Okay, well that's that's great. And uh, you were a really big guy, still a, a big guy, but you've uh, taken, you're more like on the strong side of big now, right? Oh yeah. Okay. So I started off um, 421 um, three months ago. <clears throat> but, um, a month and a half ago into that. Wait a minute, 421? <clears throat> Does that mean like pounds? Yeah, 421 pounds. I oh weighed my three gosh. months ago. Um, down to 360 now. That's only in three months. Well, you carry 360 really well. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm strong. You know, I, I'm, like I said, I, I'm, I'm an athlete, I'm a big athlete. I, I do. Um, 5K mud factor runs. I do all sorts of physical activities. I always thought too, like if you're really big like that, you must be really strong to carry all that extra weight around all the time, you know, as compared to a you know a, a, a lightweight, middleweight, or something like that, okay. right? Correct. Okay, so you just have like a, a lot of a lot of strength and some bulk on you. So what made you decide uh, uh, to you know to pare down? Um, I went to the doctor a few months back. Um, I had a problem with you know. Of course, obesity, depression, all sorts of stuff. Um, the doctor told me um, borderline diabetic, um, heart conditions, all sorts of stuff I don't need right now. Um, it's been three months, and my borderline diabetes is gone. Oh. Um, the, the heart palpitation thing is still kind of there, but I mean, as my weight's fallen off, everything's going away. Um, I'm doing everything naturally. I'm avoiding GMOs, avoid sodas, fast food. All the crap food is out of my life. Right. All the uh, if you if you pull down from the diabetic side, though, so you've got like uh, all the sugars. You're you're doing just if any sugars, probably natural sugars, what's in fruit, things like that. Maybe maybe uh, do you use uh, an alternative to sugar like? Uh, um, I use um, raw sugar and you know, raw sugar. Okay. Uh, basically, our uh, honey, um, local organic honey. Okay. Um, I avoid <laughs> goes to the wine aisle. Have you ever tried like uh, just throw it out here now like stevia? I think it's it is a natural. Um, stevia, yeah, but they still cause you know a lot of those sweeteners because in your stomach, go through your system, including you know, a lot of those mentioned. So where'd you find out about that? Where uh, um, after I started my movie, um, Doctor Group came forward. He's a very renowned natural doctor, um, an author. He runs the Global Healing Center. Um, he's all about getting healthy naturally. Um, he provided me with all the supplements I needed to detox and flush my body out. And he's also my executive producer for the movie. Okay, so did he want to do a movie? Uh, whose idea was it to do a documentary? Um, it, it, was, it, was, it was mine. Um, actually, Richard the Rockstar here locally, um, he's the one that came to me and said, hey, you know, I fell in a depression right after I got the bad news from the doctor. So I was kind of just going under from there, and then he came forward and was like, hey, man, you know, get up off your butt and, you know, change your life, and let's do it. And you should film it and inspire people. So I thought it was a great idea, and, you know, three months later, I'm here. Okay, other than changing your diet, what have you done physically? Like, uh, you, you run, you're working out? I, I go to the gym six, seven days a week, um, cardio at least an hour, two hours a day, weights, no. whole nine yards. Like I said, I compete in, um, you know, little local obstacle runs. Uh, I've, I've returned back to professional wrestling recently um, due to health. Mm. I didn't wrestle for about three years. <clears throat> it just got too bad and I actually went so back. So you're getting some matches again? Oh, yeah. I wrestled recently. Um, actually, last weekend down in Los Angeles, um, Freak Show Wrestling. I um, actually booked again in June for my first really big returning match. It's actually an audience springs the weapons match with um, against Sim Bodhi, like a death match, hardcore thing. So, so actually, all these health steps I've taken has helped me return to the ring and create a movie to inspire people. The time just flies. We have like a one minute left. We've got this uh, uh, drone here and uh, you're using this drone in your documentary? Yeah, this is a prototype from um, flybycopters.com. It's a prototype. Um, I'm actually designing it to be the first 3D anaglyphic drone. It's actually filming my movie in complete 3D. This yeah, too is awesome. a, it's a custom 3D printed rig for um, GoPro Hero 3s. 
So um, this, this actually attaches to the drone. Well, That's different awesome. piece. Here, look, really still, or you do that as well. So this, these are two lenses, basically two cameras <clears throat> set apart. Two cameras, got the LCD screen back here, extra mic. Um, it detaches to, to put onto a jib or a crane. Um, I have a smaller rig that I used for the gimbal right here. Okay. I can actually turn this on and fire it up to show you a little bit. <clears throat> as you can see. We're going to get cut off in a hard break. Just if you find yourself, cool. I can see the gimbal moving. You have that, see that? And down in here, the, the pan tilt. Look at that. You know, step back a little bit. Okay. Grand finale. I can't take it off in here, but. So we can't cool this down. <laughs> oh, yeah. 750 millimeter drone, um, commercial, go real high up in the sky. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we're already in our break, but not for the one that's going to be on YouTube. So, uh, Hey, maybe we can talk uh, a little bit more today before we leave. We'll see. Yep. Thanks a lot. And Good.